battles of the revolution, such as Concord, Lexington, Ticonderoga, and the many heroes that played their parts in them. But little is known of the record of the 33. And a third company, and their gallant little drummer boy, Hector Heathcote. After capturing many British-held strongholds, including the famous Crumpet Rock, the men of the 33 and a third continued their advance. Suddenly... <laughs> there ahead of them stood a British fort. Before the 33 and a third could advance further, one thing became imperative. Sergeant? Take a handful of volunteers and determine the exact strength of the enemy. Yes, sir. You men have volunteered to scout the enemy position. We must... Hector Heathcote, sir. Drummer. Sir. Sorry, Heathcote. I'm afraid we can't use you. Oh, please, Sergeant, sir. Please let me go. You gotta. You just gotta. Heathcote, take your drum and beat it! Yes, sir. Hector wanted so to prove his bravery. I do, I do. Or call him what you may, clumsy, awkward. He was patriotic. Yes, Heathcote was a clumsy, awkward patriot. Okay, men, let's move out, quietly. Heat coat. Now stay out of my way. Dismissed. Okay, men, keep your bodies down. We don't want to be spotted. the situation remained desperate. We still haven't found a way into the enemy camp. We must know how many men and supplies they have. It's a drum. A drum? That's it. A stroke of military genius. We'll put someone in the drum and... Vroom! And you, my fine map, uh, fellow, will be a hero. And so Heathcote's chance had come at last. So much depended on Heathcote's mission. Could he do it? Would it work? Coats are coming. Why, they're surrendering. Look. Yes, 
Time has erased much of the knowledge of the 33 and a third company and of Hector Heathcote, their heroic little drummer boy, for the great role he played. Play it.